All right. Kukrudu. Kukrudu. Osamunse menka. All right. Kukrudu. 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 Eyezu. 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 Afei Obia Enyedi. Good morning once again. We are coming to you live from the Amasaman constituency, formerly Trobu Amasaman. But now, Trobu, it's on its own, and Amasaman, it's on its own. But before we start proceedings here this morning, let me remind you that this is TV3 New Day's community manifesto. We stand for objectivity, neutrality, and balance. This segment is not supposed to bring any segregation or division between political parties here in Ghana. This is intended to get into the constituencies so we speak to them about concerns as a lead up to elections 2024. This is not supposed to bring any division at all. But as we have it in the country, of course, we've got political parties. So both of them, NPP and the NDC side, are all represented here this morning. But I do hope that there'll be some peace and quiet so we can get into the nitty gritties of the community. Welcome one more time to TV3's community manifesto right here from uh, the Ama Saman municipality. A relatively small town, but of course it serves as the capital of the Gan West municipality. The number one governmental project here in this area is the Pokuase in Sawam or the Amasaman construction of the huge road that we all see that started in 2022. And according to government, it was supposed to have been completed in July 2024. Well, contractors are saying it is 50 to 70% done, but we'll get talking and we'll see how far we have come with that project. The incumbent in this constituency is the NPP's Akwesi Owusu Efrifa Mensa. But come election 2024, he will not be standing. The NPP have selected businessman Yaya Kasim Atta, who will be contending. Who will be contending? Let's have some quiet. Let's have some quiet. Let's have some quiet. Okay, so he will be contending with NDC Sedem Afenyo. All right, we will continue here this morning to help us, to help us control today's activity and the crowd. We want to give a special, special thank you to ASP Gideon Ahinkra of Amasaman District. He is the Amasaman District Commander. He's giving us 20 men, 20 men to help us control the crowd. And this morning, we want to say thank you. So welcome to Amasaman. This is our community manifesto. I'm going to take my seat right now because we have some of the community leaders who are already seated. We are going to be speaking to them. Pick number one of the achievements so far because I have the MCE um, on the MPP side here and the NDC is on my right as well. Respectfully sir, good morning, how are you? All right, they know you already, but the oh, rest sure. of the country may not know you. Your name and who you are, sir? I'm Clement Wilkinson. Okay. The municipal chief executive. Municipal chief for executive West. for Gam West. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you would love to pass the microphone so we get to know your other executives as well. Yeah, I'm, my name is Haja Salamatu. Okay. Uh, former women organizer for MPP. Former women's organizer. All right. My name is Ofe Seth, okay. a national communication team member of the New Patriotic Party. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And on the NDC side, we have... Gregory Hache, Secretary of the Constituency. Okay. Abubakar Mohamed, Assembly Member for Onyansana Electoral <laughs> Area, and Executive Member as well. And finally, Ruth Amevade, Assembly Member, Kutunsi Electoral Area. All right, thank you so much for your fair representation this morning. But let's start with the MCE. This is Amasaman constituency. Yeah, this is Amasaman. All right, and it was formed about 32 years ago. Sure. The NDC has done 24 years, the MPP has done eight years in this constituency. But as an MCE, how fairly or how well do you think you have served the people of Amasaman? Um, thank you very much. Uh, before I let him 
give thanks to the Almighty God, then my able president, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, and the vice president and the entire executive of MPP party. Um, let me go straight to the point. NDC has been more than 24 years. MPP, as you said, I've said for eight, seven good years, and I'm going to finish by eight years, and I know we are going to do more okay. for the party okay. and for the Amasaman as a whole. Okay. Um, why am I saying this? We have a lot of projects that we have done. I can give count one by one. We want to hear some of them. Yes. We want to hear some. Um, let me start with our rules. I think MPP have done almost 52 kilometers as far to it in Amasaman, as you speak. In this, in this yes, constituency? Yes, in this constituency. And everybody who, who want to challenge, those rules are there. That is why um, I've given you the pen drive. And all those rules that we have fixed, we have constructed on those pen drives. Okay. So the, the project, when we talk about rules, NDC have been on, on this seat about 24 years, and they couldn't do any of them, hmm. right? Amasaman has been in decades, more than 200 years as we speak. But during the MPP time, we see major, major, major development in Amasaman. Okay, yes. you've mentioned roads. What else yes. can we mention? When we talk about education, right? Um, as we speak, right now we, we have been seeing six unit classroom and all those things. Now as we speak, we stop. We are doing 18 unit classroom, which we have started and gradually you see 80 units by 2024, ending of 2024, you see a lot of infrastructures on education. Did you say ending of 2024? 24. This 24. is August. Y yes. This is August. Sure, sure, Just sure, four sure. months to elections. Four months. We will finish all those things. All those projects sure. will be completed. We I'm telling you for the fact. And it's, it's possible. Why not? Because I started. And when, I completed. When, when did you start those projects, sir? Some are eight months ago. Some are one year ago. Okay. But gradually, we go by budget. And my budget this year, I know I will finish. Is that what we are seeing on the screen? Is this what we are seeing? Is it part of the project that you started? Because this looks completed. This looks completed, so I'm not sure this is part of what you're talking about. Because no, this one looks some completed. Of okay. Has not been completed. And okay. We are going to complete those ones that are not completed by 2024. Okay. So and we surely, and surely, those ones that we have started, as I speak, okay. on foundation. Mm. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, the vice president who is coming to be the president of Republic of Ghana, will complete them gradually. So we are saying all. All right. So you are saying we should give you up to end of year. Sure, you can come back. You can come back November ending, and you see that. We can progress. come back here yes, in sure. November you ending. We'll see you a completion of all these projects. Yes. All right. So you've mentioned the schools. You've mentioned uh, 52 ki kilometer roads. Mm -hmm. Let's talk more about what you've been able to do for the and, constituency. And, and, and when when we are talking about roads, I haven't finished. Okay. His Excellency, the President of Republic of Ghana, mm. he said a year of roads. Mm. And as I speak... We're actually in the second year of roads. Yes. That's what he and, declared. And you could see that in Ga West, mm. we have benefited from the N6 road mm. from Ofanko mm -hmm. to Nsawam, which is 32-kilometer road. Okay. If I say 34-kilometer road, it's 1717. You mean this main yeah, one? Yeah, this main one. Okay. Yes, it's 1770, which is 34-kilometer road. All right? And as we speak, there's asphalt that we are seeing there. You know, when I came to office, mm. people were asking, mm. oh, no, but when are you going to come, uh, I mean, start this road? It's just two years, and look at where we are. And by the grace of God, mm. we are going to finish, and people will see with their eyes. And this is what we are doing. And this, and this, and this, and this road is attending. Okay. It's a ten lane road. Yes, so I'm told we by have, the time it's completed. No, we have, we have, we have interchanges. We have two interchange on this road. We have flying over two on this road. We have nine foot bridges on this road. All right? And it's 10 lane road, which it has never happened in the history of 
Ghana. Okay, I would love to hold you there. Yes. The construction of this road started in 2022. Mm -hmm. And according to the roads minister mm -hmm. and the contractor that it was given to, it was supposed to have been completed in July 2024. Sure. We are in August. I will August. tell you the reason why. Okay. Because we have a challenge on the road. The tycos, the electricity, you see the, uh, um, um, all those, I mean, where is there? You see that? That is why we are not able to finish um, July. But you see, the extra thing that we are doing in addition, by then, by then, we are not having that two interchanges. All right? Now, those, those two interchanges had been added because the design was changed. So okay. automatically you can finish by July. So when is the estimated time to finish as, now? As I speak, mm. we have the three lane in the middle. Yes, I and see that. And the three lane in the middle is going to finish, God willing, by October ending. We are going to apply the three lanes. Three lanes yes. will finish by October. Then the October. two two, which is the service lane, mm. will be completed 2025. In 2025. Sure. That is if you break the eight. Possible, it is possible. It is possible. We are breaking the eight. It is possible. Okay. All right. Are you done with the roads now? Yes, the roads. You said you were talking about the roads and you yes. were not done. Yes. So, done so I want to mention, say I want to mention mm. some certain roads that uh, some people couldn't do it. But in my tenor, I was able to do it. When you say some Three, people, who do you mean? NDC. NDC. They couldn't do it. Since I came to the, from Trey Dancing to Amomole Dancing, it was very deteriorated road. And as we speak, Whoever is applying that road, we said, honorable, you have done well. Okay. All right? So now, I, I can say on on, 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 on my here, in Sakena, Oduman, Sap, everywhere, Sapeman, Coco, Bordo, everywhere, there's a road, right? There's a few roads that we are still working on it, and surely, because I haven't finished my term, I'm sure I will finish it. All right. Well, these are the achievements that the MC has spelled out to us. But then we are also going to speak to the constituents. We'll speak to the members to know if what he's saying is true or not. So producers, help me have some of the constituents on standby. I want to pick their minds on exactly what the MCE has spoken about concerning the construction of roads. And then we talked about um, schools as well. But I'm also told that water is a major problem in this community. Oh. My sister, let me tell you something. When we talk about water projects, mm. Amasama has been here in decades. Do you my turn? Now we you now we have Ghana water in Amasama. We have about 72 communities. As I speak, about 39 communities have benefited from water. Out of the 72. Sure. But the rest use the rest holes. Gradually, we are working on it. All right, we shall we have some it. community members speak to us? But before we get the community members, producers, do we have the community members to speak to us? If they are not ready, I would love to come to the NDC side to respond and also to tell us um, in their 24 years of being in this community what they've done and what they seek to achieve when or if they come into power. I'll come to you, sir. Thank you very much. A warm greetings to the incoming president of the Republic of Ghana, President John Dramani Mahama. Our reliable and dependable incoming vice president of the Republic of Ghana, Professor Jenana Opoku Ajimai. The chairman and leader of our party in our constituency, John Desmondine. Before you continue, tell your people to calm down. Before you continue, Ayezu, Ayezu, Moon, calm me down, please. Please calm down. So we can continue, sir. You were speaking. And so kindly tell your people to calm down. If they don't calm down, we will not hear you. 
But hold on, hold on. Before we continue, you brought a lot. <laughs> you brought a lot of tornado, tornado with you when you were coming. Let's get to know you and who you are. Can you pass the microphone and then we'll come. You came with an eruption. Sure. Who are you, sir? Sure. My name is Sedem Apenyo. Oh, The MDC okay. parliamentary candidate, candidate and the next MP of Amasaman Council. All right, sir. Can you pass the microphone? He was on the floor. Continue, sir. The man of the moment is here. Honorable Sedem Apenyo. The next MP of Amasama constituency. My sister. Continue, if sir. you give an opportunity mm. to the representative of the President of the Republic of Ghana, mm -hmm. who will be representing the President in this constituency, for that matter, this uh, municipality for almost eight years, mm. and he's struggling to tell you the things he has done, then you should know that all is not well. They want to talk about roads. Do you know how many pregnancies got spoiled on our roads in Amasama? They want to talk about schools. Raise your leg. Raise your leg. All the schools here were built by the NDC. Turn your back. The municipality office he occupied is built by the NDC. When you were coming, you saw the Pokwasi interchange. We did. It was built by the NDC. The, I'm addressing you. Continue. The loan for the Pokwasi interchange was taken in 2016 from the African Development Bank. No, 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 sir. Sir. No, 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 sir. No, 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 sir. No, 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 no. Police. No disruptions whatsoever. NDC, kindly do not cross to the MPP side. And please, MPP, kindly don't cross to the NDC side. Let's hear you, sir. The facility that built the Pokwasi interchange was taken by Sir Tekbe, the then finance minister of John Dramani Mahama from the African Development Bank. Continue. Madam, when you pass like this, the fair in the history of Amasama, we have a too high cost in Amasama. That everything is built by the NDC. The only market Amasama has is built by the NDC. The gentleman who is the next MP of this constituency, go to Akwachire. He is building a state of the art or tramoning with offices three classroom. The chief compounds in this constituency, I'm talking about the Kodu Ashon, the Dom Sampama, and the uh, polyclinic at Oduma. They were all built by the NDC. Okay. And so when it comes, we always invite them to the policy stage to show what they have done in all the years that they've been in here. But he started showing you what they've been able to do. And, uh, in the Athena, this main road that we are seeing, the Pokwase, uh, the Ofanko road, the president, it started in 2022. If the president, madam, if the president is contrasting his pension road, is it a road for us? That is the road to his hometown. And that road will be completed by the next president of this republic, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. If you take the blueprint of the Awashi Pokwasi interchange that extends to Medina, far in there, it goes straight to the Kumasi Road. They are only trying to do what the NDC has started. And we are the fathers of the project. And we are coming to complete all this project and commission them. Okay. And so. <clears throat> And so when you talk about water projects, okay. they should show us the project they've done in water extension in this community All we right. are talking about. It's not supposed to be a banter, but if you have the, any response, 
It's that, not supposed to be a banter, but if you have any response at all, you can tell us what it is, because I'm told that you have to take leave of us as well. I don't want to debate with him, because okay. I don't know him. Okay. And I don't know where he's coming from. He's part of the constituency. No, if he said Pokwase Interchange, mm. they consulted Pokwase Interchange. It means that you don't know his left and right. Mm. I, might, I might be frank with you. If he is sitting here said, uh, Pokwase Interchange was consulted by NDC, then you don't know his left and right. You understand? So, I don't have to debate with them. What they are saying, they don't know what they are saying. Kindly continue. Kindly continue. Please continue, sir. Please continue. So, 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 he said I should show him one water project. He asked the question that I should show him one water project. And I'm surprised about him. What he says, now is, he has a pipe bone water, which is Ghana water. As I speak, I have Ghana Water District office in Amasama. Those days, when I was coming to office, Ghana Water office is at Olajo. Okay. Right? Today, as we speak, we have Ghana Water office Here in, in Amasama. Amasama. And we have able to feed 32 communities out of the 75. Okay. 32 or 35 communities. Okay. All right? So what are they saying? All right. I know NDC, when you talk about people who are saying, oh, we did it. We did it. That one, they will involve themselves. I must be frank with you once again. Anything that we are doing in Amasama here, they can point, they can point one by one. When a government is in power, right, you can do one, two, three. Another government will come. That government will do. He mentioned Amasama market. Are they expecting me that when I come, I should pay the market? No, there is a market there, right? So I've done, I've done something that is different from that. I've done different, something different from what they have done. And what they have done right now, they can mention it, and I'll mention mine, as we are here. Okay. Are these your last words? Because you've told us that you have to ask leave of us. Are these your last yes, words? Yes, because the panelists will come and sit down. Okay. Yes. So, so, so tell so, us. So, so my last words. Uh-huh. I will, I will, I will, my, we have um, our chiefs, the mm. chiefs and queen mothers mm. in our Amazon, mm. right? And I must congratulate them. As, as I speak, as mm. I speak, mm. they are building their own auditorium in my municipality. I say I equal to them. Okay. Then the entire community, then my honorable assembly members, I say I equal to them. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. And I welcome the two panelists. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And that's the MCE of the Amasaman constituency. He's asking to take leave of us. Kindly pass the microphone, sir. Sir, kindly pass the microphone. Pa All right. Okay. So we are still here at the Amasaman constituency. The MCE is done speaking to us. We are here with the two contenders in this constituency. Munyedi um, Nayantwaso, yes, Ramo. Munyedi Nayantwaso. We want to hear from the community members before we even come to the two who are contending for this constituency. I driver for any market for na omuwa hano ye pese muba microphone driver. We are driver. We are driver. Me patro go to the microphone. Netre o how there was an Okada driver as well who wanted to speak. We are driver ni. We are marketing ni. And I will hear driver yeah. knee. Okay. But I have the issue for the man. So, um, me patro. I'm, I'm against me patro. One by one. Yentie. Can we confirm, sir? Oh, yeah, driver. Who is your driver? There be some one yet driver. Yeah, my own casa. Who is your driver? Yeah, my own casa. Brown patro. Why you shake green? No, but me a casa. Casa, good microphone. No more. Yo, yeah, good morning, TV3. Morning. Um, I am Mr. Kodo. I live at Myra, and my assemblyman is there. Okay. He can testify. Which area specifically? Myra. Okay, Myra. Myra, yes. Myra, okay. He can testify that since 2015, 2016, mm. when JDM started the Myra road, and government changed in 2016, they abandoned the road. And, Cookie, if you're on that road as a pregnant woman, I'm telling you, you either give birth prematurely. People are dying. Our women are dying. Thieves and criminals are attacking women on that road 
in the morning and in the night because the, the red Mayura is bad. Road. The Mayura Road is there. He is there. He says he will lie that there is asphalt on that road. It's a total lie. His own siblings are suffering on that road. And I tell you, at Myra, there is no potable water. The only water system that is there is the community water project that was given by the Danish government. And I tell you, that system has broken down. People are, have to go to the river at, in Sachina to fetch water. And the, the spread of disease is too much. When you go to the Myra Healthcare, speak into the microphone. The Myra Health Center, it is the same as JDM left it. They did not do anything about it for almost eight years. The, the census that was done told us that the population has increased here at Amasama as the third largest constituency. But go to Myra, the health center is still the same. So dilapidated that people are dying there. If you rise to this Amasama, where Mahama left it, it is the same. They have not added a word, even a single word. Common thermometer gun. We have to contribute and donate to do those health centers. Now, come to the schools in the area. I tell you, the government schools in the area, go and see how dilapidated they are. They are so deplorable that children, children, the last rainstorm removed the roofing. And the assemblyman, he is there. We had to mobilize ourselves, resources to fix those roof sheets. See, today, today, there is no market. There is no proper market in this area. Now, people, people, our women, our women who trade, our women who do trading, even cannot have peace of mind because criminals are at them. There is no street light. For the issue of the uh, this is sanitation, you can't even talk about it. Go to the Myra area now, you see a lot of bola. Just go to Amasama and Dedema. So this road that they are talking about, we have been saying that the completion of the Pukwasi to Amasama and Sawam Road is useless if it is not linked to the total construction and development of the Myra and the environs in Amasama. So please, the MC can just come and speak English, but he is just deceiving us because we of the youth are now working, and we are supporting Honorable Sedem and JDM to come and build a nation for us. Amasama will only see development under them because they are proven it. Omusia right. Omuyo, and therefore okay. Honorable Sedem is going upe upe. Honorable Sedem will be the next MP for Amasama. Okay. Thank you very much. And JDM, we love you. All right, so Hello. that's a driver who lives here Hello. at Myra part of the Amasaman constituency, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to respond. Yes, please, respond. Now, in your introduction, you made the point that out of the 32 years of our democracy, yes. NPP has spent eight years, eight years out yes. of it. Yes. Then the NDC has 24. spent 24 years yes. out of it. Now, there is this saying that to whom much is given, much, much is expected. expected. Or is that also? It is. Now, when you were commuting from your station to this venue, you saw the fourth tier interchange. It is one of the largest in the whole of Africa. Is that also? It was constructed by which party? It was constructed by which party? Now I, we are talking about I roads. Thought, wait, hold I, on. Yes, I thought I you were going to respond. Listen. They are allergic to facts. I thought that you were going fact. to respond to the, the things NDC's that you said. The allergic to facts, so about don't worry. The market, I am not about the by schools. Their about the roads. You see, Mujedi. we are giving testimonies of our works. Please Within hold just on. eight years in this constituency. Please hold on. Please eight hold years on. of our stay in this constituency. As against their 24 years. Please now, hold when on. it comes to industrialization, we have the runner motors in this constituency. Okay. Is that not an evidence hold to the industrialization process of this government? Okay, government? hold on. Okay, we are hold not on. here to make noise or conjecture. Okay. We are speaking to tangibles. Now, okay. people in Opa to uh, Safema, who are attached to the works of this government. Move from here to Trejanshin, to Oduma. Do you get it? There are roads being constructed. Okay. Go to the ambulance center. We have one here. We have ambulance in this constituency. Either to, when somebody's wife was pregnant, okay. you have to carry him on a motorbike, which was inimical to their help. Is well, that not a fact? I believe that TV3 is a national television station. And therefore, when we are speaking, we should speak to tangibles and facts, not speculations and conjecture. All right. These are the evidence. So you Very call, soon, I will so introduce my PC to you, who has been able to spearhead five key companies, strategic companies, He's here not to speak uh, for pocket himself. companies, visible okay, hold evidence on. of his work in the constituency. Okay, thank you. Madam. What is he going to show okay, thank to the you. Okay, thank, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. So Madam. time now. No, I'm not going to come to you I yet. I think we've done this no, division. I'm not going to come to you yet. I'm not going to come to you yet. Time now to speak to the parliamentary candidates 
of the Amasaman constituency. On the NPP side, we've got Yaya Kasim Atta, who has joined us this morning. And then on the NDC side, Sedem Afanyo, Sedem Afanyo is also here. Can you pass the microphone to Yaya? Let's have a word with Yaya. Yaya Akwaba. Yeshemu Ewa Amasaman constituency. Um, before I hear Babeba, Yatin can say, even though I now won't be a member of parliament, you know, why a near man kitty 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 bebre, Eddie Abua constituency, no. Wa Waba, Yapasa, Wawa, Yeti, when no Musem, near what to me, I hear Eddie Abua constituency now. One Casa would GD say, and no, and a bemo, more a vote, Yamawa, a Babua constituency, and Nutina, I bind to my entry. Yo, near the kind, yeah, the calm down, and my young coupon. Okay, yeah, yeah, honorable. Kasa bia, we are comfortable, no? Obet miaka, you can speak in tree, you can speak in English. Hadia, 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 please sit down. Hadia, please sit down. Hadia, sit down. Hello? Hey, speak it, you're not here, Kwa. Okay, be quiet, please be quiet, so we can continue. Sir, can you continue? All right. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Honorable MC, Honorable Clement. Na Ebium, yeah, the Honorable Afrifa, the MP, yeah, then I say, pa ye. Na, yeah, some of the organizers of this program, yeah, the Munina Asse. And eh, question of Bisa, I mean, they're not as a, but I said, so Bisa's a question. No. As I said, as a PC, and I say, any leader, be a, who person obey the PC, and I say, obey the MP, you need to provide certain quality. We say, what should I say, yes, truly. You are a creative leader and uh, you are ready to serve. Now, and of course, and then I'm starting to say, me, yeah, before I mean being the MP and I said the PC, you know. One, I first bought the grader machine because me, Bano, I can't remember NDC, Omu Green Book, Omu say they have done all the roles in Ghana in their green books. The green, green book, I have it here. It's here. They say they have done all the roads in Ghana, especially in Amasama constituency. There is no single road left. They've done all the roads. And for the year 2016, they will say, now I have strong and the Queen Bia did. Now, me, as a PC, me, who is a man, me, she has a Queen Bia, so no, me, I talk greater machine. Because I don't want to rely only on government, because my government did well in terms of the infrastructure. The Queen Bia, I don't know, Amasama Bia, it's been done by my government. From Isakina, or, uh, I mean uh, uh, Maya, you come to Abiyase, even the the high road now from Accra to Sawom. So every road be able to say is being tied, and I say yes, it's here, no, it's my government. So on that note, Mr. Mitnas will say no. I have to also provide a greater machine from my own pocket. I bought a greater machine purposely for the reshaping. Yeah, Ben. And yeah, Ben. Just last year. Last year. Yes. Okay. Um, no, no, greater machine this year. This year. Yes. This year, yeah, now to greater exactly. machine. After the that. after the promise. Uh -huh. After the promise. Immediately after the promise in January, we to machine in February. And I may handle over. Edema the assemble. Any a info. San said, the be a community be and then over four be a say there's a greater machine working. For inner roads and other community roads in our hobbyano. And then we have a escalator machine as well. Number no so no for drillage in gutters in yeah yeah. On that note, and only one. Neto sumienu, me banosu no me say no. We need 
people with job. It's an say, I'm a summer constituency. We have the numbers. So I created five different companies, which is one, Cast Estate, Cast Construction Team, Mother's TV, and Mother's FM. Through these five companies, I've employed 450. 450. I'm a summer alone. 370. After that, the casual workers alone is 600 on record. So that should tell you that, yes, unemployment, we can leave everything to the government. I, as a PC, I've started addressing unemployment issues in Amasama constituencies as well. Ebi, um, oh, my name is 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 my name uh, Mother's Day, every year be a baby hospital. I'm a summer hospital, yeah. Oduma hospital. And my mom, and Kola, and Pedifo, me, you know, for 200, 200, every Mother's Day be a. Now, me toy in Yama, Eddie Ama, and Masu, so my own. If you may send to your base, I'm on my own, 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 I'm on Mr. Shaw, I'm I'm a summer hospital. Hey, hospital, yeah. I'm some bupa. Oh, I'm a summer my end. Now, I'm here. I bar. And also, I'm expanding more. If you, Mr. Shaw, I'm here. 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 i am here i am Samitia, we are. The patrol, I count two minutes. Now I wrap it up. Now I bust them. Now I bust them. I count two minutes. Wrap it up, mommy. I'm in cost. Me dasi. Ebi, I'm a samai damakuma so. Okay. You need to say aha. Hey, I'm in full. I'm in full. Ena ya omodiya. The same thing is seat office complex. Ede ma ya in full. Ugu asambu wabo muse kesiya pa security. Hey, I dare dare ya kuma so. Oko I'm a samai police station haya. Police for the also. Now, so many offices are moving over. Michelle Bo, two sort of building. Who can I hear? We see a five complete, ninety five percent complete. I'm with my police for. Oh, I'm complete. Oh, before ending of this, uh, by November, I'm complete. Before election, we say before election, I'm complete. My hand over. And she say, can I can? Yes. What touch you on roads? Sir. What touch you on health? Exactly. What touch you on schools? Yeah, so -so. security. And Education. Hey, I did that, my commando. Okay. Yeah, police station in here. Police station in here. Exactly. Police station in here. Yeah. Ninety nine percent complete. What's the ninety five? What's the 95? Yes. After what's the 99? 95 complete. It's the NKBR. You have the five in the back and you handle over. Maybe I'm a handful. Office complex. I'm busy more. I know so. I will get some number here. I'm busy one. I'll see you. Well, that'll be maybe then now. Uncompleted one. I'll see you. I'm not busy. Okay. Education. Send me can I know. Me. Education. You have to be a strong boy. You have to say. Me Santi. I promise my people in Amasama constituency. Me six school. Can see I have for eight thousand students. I'm busy more for free. Now, so 8,000 students, and also, I made them home for free, and also, no. and also from January. Now, Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, project here, we are 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 here, Last year, Mr. Chair, 2023. 2023. And I was starting here. And see, we are here, 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 we Minim sir, yes. who are businesses are I employing for for a while, my summer. Yeah, now Mr. Businesses, you know, and one a mouse, you can't have a way near my way. Five companies, five companies, yeah, exactly. Ah, Utia or taxes, Sapa Pepe, who need GR for any problem. That be that, be a hundred percent. Who books in your other home, I say, or the two are. You bet to me, I buy bet to me, I share a who says, Oh, some companies where and I fund this up project where you know, Sapa Pepe. It's a beam is at the Nazi. It was said, I be that. I'm a summer constituency. Oh, yeah, and also, my people born in you. Yes, many advantage, no opportunity. No, I said, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that I'm not saying that I'm not saying that Oh, a beam with a one for a bus. Okay, I'm a summer constituency. It's on sorry. 
is two in associate with Bia Kobe Bia as a PC. I mean, handle over Edema community. Okay. Now, in San Yadebu, in San make sure say I'm a summer constituency. May my own free atom in some sort of churches about 170 churches. Our constituency has constituency has yeah, 170 free atoms. Yes, free atom. What can say free atom? What do you mean? I will preach it for free. And a businessman and businessmen. Ah, and also no, may the support of Amasama constituency. Okay. Ebio. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Ebio. Ebio. Honorable. Mesa, Mesa, make sure say Amasama constituency. Me more, more. Adia, I mean, welfare bus and nobody can kind. And now, Ebio, bridge way. Bridge way. I am not that bridge. Me na me ko far the honorable. It's like, I mean, the road minister. I said so. Eba eh. Kodja show bridge. Me ka for officer. I said so by. And Eba eh the maintenance. Bridge way. Me na me ko lobby here. Rose on that day from three junction up to Koja Song. Bridge way, I say, since end this for time. Abo, we are made this for time. Let me just say, bridge way, Mr. Honorable Minister. Okay. Honorable Minister, Greater Accra Minister. Okay. So, in the bar, in the top, yes, bridge way. Okay. Into way, I am not missing what you ma. Mr. Mr. Kofa, Honorable Minister, Baya. Yes, bridge way. Mr. Yes. 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 Sedem, you are the parliamentary candidate on the ticket of the NDC. Congratulations to you one more time. Do you want to respond? Or I am told the assembly member of his community is here. Who do you want to speak first? The assembly member, the assembly man, or you want to speak? Okay, please come. So I'm told the assembly man, me patro, assembly man here. Okay, no, I wanted you to confirm. Madam. I wanted you to confirm. Madam, it's a big lie. It's a big lie. It's a big lie. It's a big lie. Calm down, calm down, please, calm down. Calm down, calm down, please, I beg you, calm down. Let's relax, please, please. Let's listen to Set what him. he's saying, please. Sit down, take a seat. Because it was the parliamentary candidate who spoke, I want you to do the response before we even get to other people. To be fair, to be fair, because he's the PC and you're also the PC, I want you to do the response before we go to the assemblyman. So kindly, go on. All right, thank you very much. First of all, let me say. Kukrudu. Let me say. Kukrudu. Hold on. Kukrudu. Kukrudu. Pachomunyedi. Kindly go on. Please speak. First of all, let me say a big good morning to my incoming president. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and his able wife, Mami Jane. My brother Yaya Kasim is here telling a lot of lies. You are a parliamentary candidate and you are claiming you are constructing roads. You are a parliamentary candidate and you claim the steel bridge that was reconstructed some few months ago or a few weeks ago was done by you. We all saw it on the television when the regional minister, when the road minister was on that bridge to officially open it to the people of Kodua Shon. So I am surprised he is here claiming that he is the one who went to fix the bridge. It will be a disappointment to the whole community. If you have an MCE city here, 
who is in charge of developmental projects in this community, and your parliamentary candidate is claiming he's the one doing your job, that is a big disgrace to you. He claims he's the one doing it. You are an MC, you are sitting here, and you are claiming your parliamentary candidate is fixing your road for you. That is a big disgrace. Let's put that aside. My brother Yaya Kasim is also claiming that he is constructing an office complex for the chiefs and people of Amasaman. I don't think the chiefs will be happy to hear this. I personally donated 100 bags of cement to the chiefs and people of Amasaman to construct that particular office complex. And I have the evidence here on my phone. So if he's here claiming that he is the one constructing an office complex for the chiefs and people of Amasaman, it's a blatant lie, a very big one. Now, let me come to the achievements I, I, Sede Mafenyo, has done for this community. I have renovated two chips compounds, government chips compounds, two for Amasaman, one at Kodrashon, one at Don Sampama. These are chips compounds that were closed down. A letter from the municipal assembly came to me for renovation of those chips compounds. I used my own financial support, money from my own pocket, to renovate these two chips compounds. I have donated 100 dual desks, classroom desks, to the Kutunse school. And all what I'm saying, the assembly members of those communities are here. We can confirm from them. As I'm speaking to you, the same Kutunse Emmy, I am re-roofing the place. Since MPP came into government, I don't know which renovation works they've done in this country. I can attest to the fact that me as a parliamentary candidate, I have done more job, more than the MPP government in Amasama. I am constructing, I lobbied for a construction of a three-unit classroom block at Aquatri. Are these the ones that you donated on the screen? Is that what we are talking about, your donations? Yeah. The donations? Yeah. yeah. That's what's on the screen yes. right now? Yes. The roof? The roof. Okay. There is a renovation of cheap compound. Okay. As for cement donations, I've done so many of them to help construct covers and drains okay. in communities. Okay. As cement donations, I have done a lot of them. All right. Yes. Okay. As I speak to you now, there is a construction going on of okay. a three-unit classroom. Block. Okay. It has gotten to the roof level. Okay. And I can assure you, I got a permission from him. The MC is here. You can ask him. Okay. All the projects I did, I wrote to him. He gave me permission to do it and I've done it. The evidence is there. Okay. He can confirm it. All right. Once you are done, I would like to go to the assemblyman um, in the area. Please come. Come to the microphone. Madam, sometimes... Hold on. Hold on. Sir. 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 Sir, you can sit and speak to us. You can sit. Because we the cameras... The cameras can come to you from there. Okay. You Madam, said you wanted to respond. I, I wanted to, to respond. Yaya I wanted said to respond to the British. You are. Yes, I, I'm You the, are in his area. Yes, I'm you in are in the this assemblyman area. in that area. Exactly, I'm uh, the assembly member for Onyansana electoral area. Okay. Sometimes it's mind blowing and mind boggling that people will take credit, people will take credit which did not fit them. When you talk about that bridge, they should ask our PM. I raised that topic when we were at General Assembly. Madam, you can, you can have... Speaking to the microphone, yes, please. Yes, you can have my phone. I'm coming. You can have my phone. This is the letter I wrote to 48 engineers. Apart from that, I went... I went... You, when you are talking, don't talk, because you use only four police stations to win your elections. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes... You work and work, even your TV station, Johnny Hughes, we send videos to him. And he and even said set it there. So what have and you got to say about the bridge? That the bridge, it was not the bridge, constructed the bridge is not by their, the NPP. It's not by their credit. Even their their own their own uh, minister for Greater Accra, Honorable Titus Grover, uh -huh. he even acknowledged that none of them, none of them even brought that issue to them. It was the assembly member and the media that they got to know that the bridge, the bridge is in a very deplorable state. Okay. Apart from that, the one sitting beside you, his tracks have been passing on that bridge for ages. 
His track is the one which even made that bridge in the Torrington State. He has never, I, if he can, he has never even talked about that bridge before. And now they are coming to take credit for it. They are telling lies. And sometimes when you are an honorable person, you have to behave like honorable. Okay. You cannot be taking, you cannot be taking projects okay. to Sakina. Okay. The MC has been taking all the projects to Sakina. Ask him whether he has even done anything at Onyansana. He has never. He has never. And even Yaya, who has been applying Onyansana Road, has never ever done anything for Onyansana. They shouldn't be here and be, be taking credit to which they, they right. don't have. Okay. All right. So I'm told an assembly member on the side of the NPP also wants to respond. Can you pass the microphone to him? Thank you very much. Um, it's okay, you can be on that side. Yes, yes, yes please. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Moderator, I would want to speak to you. Okay. Are you comfortable? Give us your name. That's okay. Your name, your name. Yes. I want to communicate to the people okay. very well. Okay. Yes. Look here, sir, and give us your name, your name, your name. Uh, I am Honorable Charles Yao Abusa, Charles the Yao assembly Abusa. member for Atiyama Electoral Area. Okay. In fact, I am in my fifth year in this assembly. Okay. My honorable colleagues, all apologies. He's, he's just done six months in this very assembly. Um, but you have done five he's, years. Exactly. Me besa mi chese. Me besa mi chese. Oh no, hold on, hold on. Me besa mi chese. Me me di five years our assembly. Okay. Me di five years our assembly. And the onu obesa o chese ni pi di sesa ona bo dodu. Over eight years onu beti na se onu anya hui onu yuzu six months at the bridge. So bridge we ya kama se ukujua shon. I say as far back as 2017. And son of government we bap our not bridge we are say go to Ashon Bridge. Me me bap our yeah 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 2019. Yeah bap our me together with the assembly member for Kwashikuma man. Ni predecessor honorable Dodu. Any honorable uh ampon what yeah you organize a demonstration on that road. So I say media coverage the man ministries who we are we have started it. That was 2017. Yes, you started no, it in 2017. Last two years, and they had demonstration. Okay. We had to go to go and start bomb at the original command before we could have that assembly. Mami Gantrano, we we demonstrated on that road separately. I have to pay. I have to cough up money to get media men on that road. In fact, as we speak, the day the road minister Honorable Asensu came to that road, he was nowhere to be found. If he has to do about just letter to the uh, uh, Fida Rose, this assembly has done a lot. Fida Rose is not doing anything about the road. They tell us that the metal that they will use for that particular bridge, they don't have it. It was when Honorable Asensu Bwati came that we took him to that bridge, that he instructed highway authority that they should make sure that road is fixed. If he's saying that Honorable Taito Group has said that nobody has reported to him, Honorable Tatogra is barely three months in that ministry. So he couldn't have gotten any information to that effect. We report to him. In fact, me personally, I have to, you know, people have to be chastised me because they see me to be part of that and I am demonstrating on that very road. Now, before last last two months, all Amasama municipality roads are under feeder roads. We were being taken care of by feeder roads. And Fida Road is not able to work on that bridge. You can go, my, my, my sister, you can go to Fida Road and check. Go to Fida Road and check. If he has to do about letter writing and letter writing and this thing, we have better before you came. Just six months, you are claiming on that a bridge. You cannot do it. Okay. What are you talking just six months. Your predecessor have done even a lot. You are telling us that your predecessor hasn't done anything. Okay. Is that what you are trying to tell us? All right. Ah, I'm so obviously you, my there's a clash here. 
as to who did it and who really did not do anything. So that's Honorable no, Yaya Kasim attacking the picture with the rights minister. But no. the NPP, the NDC, I beg your pardon, that's the NDC the, is also saying that he didn't do it. The fact that he's in the photo, the fact that he's in the photo does not mean that he constructed that bridge. Set him. You want to respond? Okay. Kindly respond. My name is, my name is Jonathan. We are from Tete. My name is Jonathan Nia from Tete. Who are you, sir? And I'm in the same community with the honorable member. But you're not an assemblyman. I'm, I'm responding to what he okay. says. The, you, we can all Google it. We can all Google it. You had your time. You had your time. Be an honorable member. You, we can all Google it. The Kojo, the Kojo has shown chips comp, the Kojo has shown footbridge was built by JJ Rollins in 1991. The honorable member confirmed that it developed fault in 2017 when NDC was, when MPP was in power. MPP came to power in 2016. So he confirmed the footbridge developed fault in 2017. You can Google all that I'm saying. The media, honorable Sadama Penyo, assembly members over the years, petition they even wrote to the assembly and not, nothing was done about it for so many years and now four months to election ndc mpp brings mpp brings their minister they bring their national executives to put two slabs two slabs of two metal slabs on the footprint claiming they are constructing the footprint a footprint built in 1991 by jj rollins developed fault under the administration. They waited four months to election to put two, just two, two metal slabs on it. You can Google all that I'm saying. So this is what we are talking about. When it comes to Atiyama, I live in Atiyama with him. I'm in the same community. During COVID time, 2019, 20, 2020, you can bear me witness that the road from Three Chansi to Doblogono, unless you drive this side, is unmotorable. You cannot drive on that road. It is impossible to drive on the three chance to block on a road. Me Assembly member for a chamber electoral area. You can bear me witness to the fact that it is impossible to drive on the three chance to block on a road. When MPP came to power, NDC was contracting the road. They sacked the contract contractors, brought in their own contractors. They did a poor job. And so when the road was being constructed, just two weeks, the road got uh, dilapidated and so you can bear me witness to that i want him to respond are you are you happy the road condition in your electoral area the road from three chance to the blog gonna respond to that honorable member thank you very much okay okay we just a minute just a minute hold on hold on hold on just a minute we want it, to it's go. obvious it's obvious I no, have sir. information that he has. You've spoken. Munyedi, Munyedi Nayantwaso. Munyedi Nayantwaso. Munyedi. Pass the microphone to Honorable Yaya. Please pass the microphone to Honorable Yaya. He wants to complete his submission. Boss. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. So we are inching closer to the end of proceedings here today. And as you can tell, the banter is still going on as to who accomplished what, when, and how. But the NPP parliamentary candidate still wants to complete his submission on all that he's been able to do for the community before we wrap up today. But there's a community member who wants to speak as well. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? You are ready? Okay, talk to us. Sir, we want to hear you. Please speak. Hello. Hello. 
NDCB, na kena malaka wa, wange sa bafu egba na wao. Ni laye yino, na wafu egba tes. Na me yeshika, so lucky, 2020, onabu MC. Ne wafu egba na wao. Ko choka jia isake na, na wafu egba na wafu egba na wafu egba na wafu egba. So lucky, onabu kaya kasi mata. Ne ke wafu egba na wafu egba na wafu egba. Block factory to abase. Benu sisi. Block factory to abase. Ona wo ya ya kasi mata. Ne wa ye peace ine. Wa ye ane. Si ona mo sedem. Omo si seven years ine. Wada kono ne chuye nsake na. Six years ine he. Ona mo sedem. Ne wa ye peace ine. Six years ine. Wada kono ne chuye si kas. E ba le wa ye ane. Ni bini ya no ye wo konsuwe si ame ye. Jela kono biyo. Afe gwe. Jela amale. Sedem, six years ina, mila fanya wao. Mabi sana, sedem, mabi la kesi, six years ina, mila fanya hisaki na wada. Ochi, wajaze, six years ina, sedem, mila fanya wao. Mi ya baase, inyo kada, nika chuoni, inye moto nika chuoni, wao mi nyio, every day mi nyie. Ana mokas, ne ba ne, efe ni bi bi kanga wao. Ya eni wajo. Okay. Wanyo wala kanyi. Kas. Oh, you are done. Kas. Kesele me. Oh, you are done. Wanyo wala kanyi. Kas. Oh, you are done. Lade eche yebiye. Eba uye. Anabo. Nya waye no. Enuwa wwa semna. Ogusu eka no. Ba waka chile mse uye. Ope se uye. Ope se uye. Nena uka ninyina. Inti mpacho yetie. Uye. Nya waye ninyina ano. Yo. Thank you very much once again. NDC are always sell lies. Because in their green book, as you said, they said they have done all the roles in Amasama, including the whole Ghana. What we are saying is, Amasama is one of the biggest constituency. Yo, the 10 largest in the whole Ghana. So that should tell us that we have 17 electoral areas in Amasama. And every sector, my government did more than unpresentable. Because when you check, when you check, Growth sector, health sector, job and everything, MPP have done well than NDC. On that note, myself with the health sector, as I was mentioned, I organized health scream about six or seven electoral area. One electoral area, Gono, uh, Media, then the, we have one at uh, Baira. This what is, road is this one? This is another road. Which this one is my this machine. One? Yes, this is one of the, this one, my own machine. And those are the roads. This is my machine. And it's like across all the 17 area area, every blessing day, this machine is on the road. Because the road issues have been an issue in Amasamai because our roads are very bad. And it's only MPP. And then DC told us that they have done all the roads in Amasamai constituency. So our problem is the green boots that they are relying on is not true. There is no single road that NDC have officially completed in Amasama constituency. It was rather in MPP when we took over 2016 that we are able to do all those I mean, tar roads that we are seeing currently. And ongoing Accra to Sawon High Road, as well as uh, my own village, that's the Blogono, a Chame electoral area. Honorable Mr. Sanso, and include this bridge. This bridge has been an issue because this bridge, I mean, collapsed since the time of NDC time. That bridge collapsed since the time of NDC. You see, since the time before we took over. So it has been an issue. Those people at Kojashon cannot even cross to um, Obom or coming back to Amasamai constituency. So due to that, Assemblyman claiming that he's the one who maintained or who did the bridge or who did the maintenance, it's never true. It was myself and M I mean, uh, 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 MC who lobbied and brought in the Honorable, I mean, as and so the road minister, and later on, after it's been done, we brought in the Honorable uh, Agreta Accra Minister, Honorable Tatos, to come and, I mean, okay. uh, uh, commission so, it. So the on that note, I wanted to add more, the education. Education, uh, I mentioned I about five things that I've done. I wanted to solve the bridge. And Before you go to education, I wanted us to have clarification on this bridge matter. Very well. Because very the well. NDC is saying that you did not repair the bridge. I, I said I lobbied for the Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister did the, I mean, came in and repaired the bridge. So it was my party. It was my party who 
I mean, maintaining this very bridge. Not the NDC, let and not the Assemblyman. Assemblyman has no let capacity. Let there be order. He has no... Let there be order. You see, so my, my case is, my case is, it's MPP who did the bridge. It is myself and MC, we went and brought in the Honorable the honorable minister and later respond. on what it was Send done we also brought in honorable tattoo that's the it's very unfortunate to come and if my brothers on the other so side what will keep saying, lying. it's never true you came you became the pc of mpp less than six months are you trying to tell me that you have an incompetent mc I'm here on the take it who on cannot the do MPP. anything in this constituency until you came into power is that what you are trying to tell us are you trying to tell us that the mc who is the government rep in Amasaman is not doing anything. You, the PC, you've been a PC just about five months, MC and you are the one constructing We did it roads. together. Is that what you are trying to yes. tell me? We did it See, together because when we were I'm living power, myself and he when we were living power, the we left the and we left at the grader and the minister's hand. You came and, and, and you saw the grader out. Minister. You acted the grader to yourself. You couldn't do anything. You are a disgrace. You are a disgrace. Stop lying. They have done you are a disgrace. Stop lying. They have not brought us back. All right, sir. You see, they have done nothing. You sir. are a disgrace. Stop lying. Not. They have no single project okay. in Amasama to show. Thank you. And health sector, thank you. job sector, and everything. All right, thank you. We have you. so many to Madam, come. I wish, to I wish your media men. I wish, I wish your media men will him. follow all of us. Allow him to I respond. wish your media men. Allow him to respond. See, I have evidence for every project I have done in Amasama Consulting. Okay. They say book no lie. I want your media men here to follow all of us to the projects we have done. I have it on paper. I don't want to show it to you on paper. I want you to follow us to the various communities. Ask the people in the community to tell them who constructed the various projects they are seeing. It is not about coming to sit here and running your map. Your MC is here. You are indirectly disgracing him. Indirectly, you are telling him that he's not doing anything and you are the one working. Meanwhile, you have been a busy All for right. just five months. What are you trying to tell us? All right, set them. This is what I want. You still want to respond? Okay. You are a PC. You are a PC. So you are the one constructing the road. Government is not the one doing it. Are you trying to tell me your government is not doing anything and you are the one doing it? Is that what you are trying to tell us? Your government is not doing anything. You are doing it. It's a disgrace to your party. Because if you are a party in power and you are not doing anything and you are the one doing it, then it's a disgrace to your party. Go and revise your notes and come back. You are a disgrace to your party. You are trying to tell us that your government is not doing anything and you are the one doing all the job. Stop disgracing your party, please. All right. Okay, we are, hold on, we will end proceedings here in the Amasaman constituency today, but we are going to give a chance to both parliamentary candidates. Shall we have some quiet? Shall we have some quiet? Please take your seats, yes. Take your seats. Kindly take your seats. Take your seats. Okay. Tell your people to calm down. Tell your people to calm down. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. You will. All right. We will end proceedings here today on our community manifesto. This has been TV3, New Day's community manifesto right here from the Amasaman constituency. There's a lot of havoc as you can see, but we will end it and we'll continue on Monday. This has been TV3, New Day.